every time the cat walks by, which is every 10 minutes. Okay. Frank. So yeah, he's kind of feisty. If you kind of look at his behavior, he, he kind of like, Frank. He would kind of like a Frankie. Franklin, he's not going to hurt you. All right, so remember, you guys, what we want to start out with is doing the walking. Help the dog understand that the pager is me communicating, and you're turning that off by moving in my direction. You're not going to say anything. And as soon as that leash goes tight, then I'm hitting the pager. from the dog. right there you guys by the end of your little session the dog should start looking at you and then you want to start remember and I we talk about this all the time but right after doing that you want to start practicing the off leash coming most dogs have some clue about that you get these people that say oh it has to know all the commands before you put the collar on I mean even little puppies people have you know practice making them come so 
you know, for treats or whatever. So it's not like, you know, especially if it's an older dog, that it's going to be completely clueless. But remember, you're only going to do it when the dog's got his back turned. Baxter! 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 Good boy! Gosh, are you okay, buddy? What in the world was that all about? Good boy! Good boy! And sometimes it will have a reaction like that. And that's just the pager, you guys. That's why you really want it. You need the pager instead of just trying to use stimulus. I can't even imagine doing that. But you really want to play on that. You escaped by coming to me. Baxter! Oh, what a good boy. He's my good boy. He's my good boy. He's so cute. He's so cute. Baxter! Oh, what a good boy. This little dog is so cute. He's doing great. We're going to be working on him. See ya.